So what Mac Mini am I getting? Let's talk about it. M4 or M4 Pro, what do we decide? Lost it, still Welcome back to the channel. Inside. So with all the brand new Macs that just came out last week, it's finally time to pick one. And in this video, I want you to come along on the journey. Okay, for starters, we got the brand new M4 MacBook Pros. They came with the M4 chip, the M4 Pro chip, and the M4 Max chip. They look pretty incredible. And the M4 Max chip, have you seen this? It's off the charts, just totally off the charts. I think it's the fastest CPU of all time. You can take a look at some of the benchmarks. But with even that fast chip in there, that's not what I'm getting this time. And then we got the iMacs with all the beautiful colors. I guess you can call them new colors, kind of. Anyways, you get the idea. I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for IMAX. You can see one sitting right here. And I actually still use a 2017 27 inch over there with 48 gigs of RAM. It's my favorite Apple computer of all time. I gotta just say it hands on. I've done like 700 videos in 4K on that thing over there. It's a workhorse. But I'm probably gonna get one in a few months maybe um, to replace this one right here, maybe sell this one. Actually for the channel, just I don't really need it, but for the channel. But right now that's not what I'm getting either. And then we got the brand new, to replace this, Mac Minis, right? And now, I think everyone agrees, at least most people I speak with, it's the star of the show. It's the best, I think one of the best computers Apple's ever made. Now, I'm gonna say that with a grain of salt because we don't even have it yet, right? Nobody even has it really in their hands, so we gotta just wait a little while before we get too excited. But I mean, finally Apple did something, they listened to us for once in their lives. I mean, they missed a couple things. The, the, the SSD storage is ridiculous, we all know that. The, the RAM increase is great, 599. So I still think it's one of the best computers of all time. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go ahead and just show you my thought process behind what I'm gonna buy here, because it will be a Mac Mini first. And uh, you guys can post in the comments if you agree with me, don't agree, but I'm just gonna kinda go through the different models and explain my thought process. But I'm also gonna explain why Apple makes this so difficult. Why is it so difficult? It's not just from Apple, but it's from the third parties as well. And my situation even makes it worse because of who I am and what I do. So let's talk about it. It may kind of relate to what you're doing as well. At the end of the day, we're all in this together. Unless hopefully this is gonna be a great system. I think it will. And I think I need to set up just one key piece of information for everybody out there. I actually still use that 2017 iMac over there to do a lot of my video editing. It's got 48 gigs of RAM, it's got the i5 only, it was like, kinda like the base model, I increased the RAM myself. I still do all my 4K edits on that, most, I mean 95% of them, it's crazy, right? I love the 5K screen, so that's who I am. So I don't need a ton of power, let me just set that up. I'm a, I'm a hu you know, huge YouTube star, right? I mean, I got cameras all around, kidding, right? You get the idea, small channel, small channel. But anyways, you get the idea. So overall, it's hard for me to pick the right one because I don't really need as much power maybe as some of the bigger channels. But still, I just wanted to kind of give you that preference back there because that's what I'm using now. So even the M4 standard chip is gonna be a big upgrade. I mean, when we get into it, I have an M2 sitting right here. This is great too, but the M4 should be enough for me, but there's some complications here. All right, let's have some fun and take a look at Apple's page over here. So we're gonna scroll down here. So obviously these are basically the same three computers here. One just has a little bit more, let's just see here, a little bit more um, SSD storage, a little bit more RAM over here. So let's just click on the first one here. We'll select this first one and we're gonna see what happens. Now, again, for who I am, let me just tell you my normal thought process. Originally I thought maybe I'm just gonna jump in and get the M4. So what I was thinking here, I mean this has got 16 gigs, 256, it's got the M4 chip. Now the M4 chip versus my i5 over there is a massive difference. I mean I have other M chip series here, I've had a whole bunch of like errors and everything else, but still, I mean at the end of the day it's gonna be a massive difference. So I was thinking maybe I'll get this. So I kinda of scroll down here, and uh, you know, obviously I would have gotten, this is the problem, I would have probably gotten 24 gigs of RAM or 32, and probably 32 is where I would have went with this if I was gonna get just the M4. RAM is important over there at 48 gigabytes on my other computer way over there. So it's important I think on this as well, even though RAM is used a little bit more efficiently. So I was thinking that and I was thinking this right here. So now we're up to 1199, all right? But this is the weird thing about this is this is kind of a weird configuration because it's hard to get. Now, that's my situation, but it's something that we have to talk about. So being what I am, for Christmas and for my birthdays and stuff, I ask for gift cards, all right? And I don't ask them from Apple, but I ask it from like either Best Buy or Amazon. So the situation is this. So this is the way I would actually spec it out here. You can see here. Um, I probably wouldn't do 10 gigs Ethernet here, and then I would just, you know, I'd buy it just like this, you know, 10.99 or 11. I'm sorry, 11.99, and I would. I have a whole bunch of monitors. If you watch my channel, I review them. I have a couple, you know, I'm going to be getting a couple 5K monitors, and stay tuned for that as well. But this is what I would probably get. But this is where Apple makes it so difficult on people, right? So then I go out to. I have some gift certificates from Amazon, right? 
I go over to Amazon. I'm taking a look in here. Here's, you know, they, you could either choose obviously the M4, or the M4, M4 Pro, but if you choose the M4, they're only going to allow you to get 24 gigs of RAM right here. And look at this, and then not really even an increase in the SSD. Well, this goes up to 512, obviously. That's what they do for you. They actually increase it there for you. Then it goes up to 999. But I can't get up to 32 gigs of RAM on basically the M4 standard chip. They won't allow me to do it on Amazon. So this is kind of crazy, right? So then I go over here and I go to you know Best Buy. Let's just actually click out of this because I'm on more of the advanced model here. But it's basically more of the same at Best Buy. This is the problem. So I have another gift certificate at Best Buy. So I kind of go in here and look at these. Are what they sell these different models in here. And they don't allow you to change them too much. But it's the same thing. They have this $999, you know, $999 model, but it's the M4 chip, 24 gigs. I want 36, and the 512 would be fine, but I just want that 36 gigs of RAM. I can't get it. So they don't make it, you know, here I am stuck. I mean, I have all these gift certificates, but I can't even use them on these third-party sites because Apple's making it difficult on me. They're only letting them sell those models, and there's a reason for that, all right? Because these are the ones that they mass produce. They have way more of them. Cost maybe a little bit more because they're taking a bigger chance with the other ones. So here we are in a situation where I can't even get what I want. So now, again, I run a Mac channel. So that would be a perfect world. I would have bought that system. I would have said the M4 is fast enough for what I do because I do 4K editing, H.264, H.265. I have a couple layers in there. It's nothing extravagant. You see my channel. But I also do a lot of other stuff and test SSD drives like this and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So then I was thinking, I really want to get that Thunderbolt 5 you know, on the, the Mac Mini, not so much because I actually need it. I don't need to transfer at 6,000 to 10,000 megabytes or gigabits per second or whatever, or megabytes per second, sorry. Um, I don't need to do that. But basically, I want to show you guys that I can. So I think I'm going to have to get the Pro. So then we go back to the Pro. Now I'm back over here, and let's just kind of click back here. And again, we're going to go down in the Pro down here. Obviously, here it is right here. The M4 Pro. Now, this is going to be better all around. I guess it's going to be, you know, I go through computers a lot faster than you because of my channel. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm making a little bit different decision. But the Pro is going to be more than enough for me and probably anybody else, even doing higher end 4K editing, all right? Just, I'm going to throw it out there. It's plenty. You don't really need the Max. I don't think so personally. So I kind of went in here. And here we go, $13.99, all right? So if I was going to get this again, you know, if I was going to spend $13.99 in this, I have my gift certificates and stuff, so I'm going to go back and see if this is available. But I probably would just keep this at the low version. I wouldn't spend the extra money here. Now, some people might, you know, you might want to do that if you know you need a lot of GPUs or you're going to use this for some gaming and stuff. There's a four-core difference there, two cores and a CPU. But what I would have done here is I definitely would have probably upgraded either the memory or the SSD, but for sure I think the memory. So I probably would have went up to 48 on this. If I'm gonna have this much power, I wanna have enough headroom on my RAM. So this is kind of the configuration I would have gotten for around $17.99. Again, I have the monitors, so $17.99, it's expensive, but again, I have I have those you know gift certificates, and you know I can go ahead and you know lap off maybe sixty percent of that cost there. So that's a big you know big thing for me. So let's just head back to these other sites and see what's now going on. Okay, so on Amazon again, I look over here, and this is really the only model that they're offering with the actual Pro chip in it for the Mac Mini, thirteen ninety nine. You can see you can go you can't go to sixteen, you can go to twenty four. They're allowing you to do this, but there's no they're not allowing you to upgrade you know your RAM or even your SSD drive. So you're pretty much stuck with that base model Pro chip with twenty four gigs, five twelve gigabyte SSD. And again, I wanted at least 48 and maybe even upgrade the SSD. I can't do that. So I'm stuck again. So then I go back over to, to Best Buy, and it's the same thing. I mean, you can look in here. So do they even offer you anything else? We're going to click on that and see if they give you any options in here. I don't think they do. So let me just go in here. You can see that there's nothing. They're going to give you Apple Care in here and nothing. So that's the only one they're selling as well. So I'm stuck again. I'm up against this firewall. So at the end of the day, Apple forces you really to buy these weird configurations from them. And that's the problem. So I can't use those gift certificates. Now, again, this is a very specific problem to me, but I know it's something that people get all the time and they want to use them or they have some kind of credit or something. Without that said, though, I mean, the model that I, I would have gotten, like I said, is probably the model right here for my exact workload, which would have been the M4 Pro chip, 12 core CPU, 16 core GPU, 48 gigs of RAM, and I probably would have kept it at 512 gigabyte SSD because I have a thousand of these things lying around. I do reviews of them. I probably have 35 different external SSD drives, including Thunderbolt 4 in my in my immediate office. So I don't really need that much storage. But 
I'm not going to be able to get this. So I'm going to probably have to get the base model for $13.99, which is really upsetting to me. I got to think about this hard because if I go this route, this, you know, the RAM is 24 gigabytes. I still think it's going to be enough for what I do, but I use 48 over there. So that buffer, is it enough to do video editing? Absolutely. Is it enough to do video editing that's kind of medium? Absolutely. Is it enough to do video editing medium, but also have 30 to 100 tabs open? This is where we run into some issues. So we'll have to kind of play this out. I'm not exactly set in stone yet, but it's going to be one of these models. So either two things are going to happen here. I'm going to use my gift certificates for the channel, and I'm actually going to just get the base model of the M4 Pro because I want to test all the Thunderbolt 5 ports on them and stuff like that. And then, you know, but again, let me just preface that by saying, I don't think many people need the Thunderbolt 5. Now, you may think you need it, right? You may think you need 6,000 megabytes per second or you know, 10,000 megabytes per second of data transfer. You don't. Thunderbolt 4 is fast enough. I've showcased that you can get up to 30 something hundred, 3,300 megabytes per second. And a lot of these things I have sitting in front of me, you can do that easily. Check out my channel, I've done it. So that's gonna be fast enough for almost anybody. So for me though, because I'm gonna be doing my channel, that's the only reason I wanted to do that. And really the only reason I'm upgrading to the Pro, um, to tell you the truth. So I just kinda of wanted to talk this through. And so it ends up being that I'm probably gonna be getting this 1399 system here. And uh, you know, it's kind of forcing me into it because of what I have you know, as far as gift certificates. But we'll see, I'm different than everybody I know. But because of the fact that uh, you know, I run a channel, I can cycle through my stuff faster. If this isn't perfect for me, I can wait for the next one or, or sell it and get a different one where you guys may not be able to. But if you can take anything away from this video at all, and I know I'm kind of rambling on, it's really that the M4 Pro is gonna be fast enough for pretty much, I think, any type of video editing and stuff like that. But in reality, most people probably are even watching don't do you know, a lot of video editing. So the M4 chip is gonna be fast enough, vastly fast enough for everybody else. If you just get the RAM that you need and you get the storage, the storage is probably even more important. You don't wanna get 256, that's what I'm saying, because you're gonna run out of that really quickly. Granted, if you're a super small user and you don't really care, 256 will do you fine with email and just watching YouTube, as long as you have some external storage. But for other people, I mean, the only reason you take that step up to the pro, I think, is if you do stuff like, you know, music production, video editing, stuff like that, and you do it, you know, seriously, not like where you're just, you know, you're fooling around with it. So I, that's just my take on it. So that's where I'm gonna be. It's kind of just a thought process behind it. I hope it helps people kind of realize what's going on. Not that it's really, you know, I'm too happy about the situation where I can't even spend the money I wanna spend on what I wanna buy, but that's just how Apple gets you. They get you always one way or the other. And I'm, you know, who knows if I'm gonna end up paying them directly and forego my gift certificates because that's generally what they want. They want you to spend the money and go directly through them, buy it directly through them. And they do a really good job at it. So we're gonna wrap up this video. I just thought it was interesting. I'm gonna be getting mine in just a few weeks, I think, and it should be exciting. And then I'll definitely do some videos. I think it's gonna take a couple of weeks to get though, just because of what I'm doing here. I waited a little bit too, but at the end of the day, we'll have it in-house. We'll do the testing. We'll test all these Thunderbolt stuff out as well, and we'll have a good time with it. So subscribe to the channel if you can, and we will talk to you in the next one. Peace.